Hey guys, welcome back to my new vlog. So in the morning, I always tell you guys a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mickey. Mikey. Mikey who? My key. It's stuck in the door hole. Let me in. Knock, so, knock. My brother also has one. Who's there? Jokey. Jokey who? Yo, Pokey. I'm a pokey. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm one. eating cereal. And today we have early release. And instead of getting dropped off by 210, we are going to um, get dismissed by 140 because of Thanksgiving Eve. Is so Thanksgiving today? No, Thanksgiving's tomorrow, but we drop off early because it's Thanksgiving Eve. And we don't have to go to school. And we don't have to go to school for four days because we um have um weekend on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is great. And I was going to say that. My brother was also going to say that. <laughs> so anyway, when I get back from school, I'm going to show you guys what I do. So today, I am going to be showing you guys the subtractions of um, two, but this time we are going to be doing borrowing because in um, part one, we didn't do borrowing, and now we are going to be borrowing, and we're also going to do the three-digit numbers where you also borrow. So first, let's start with the two-digit numbers. Okay. First one, seven minus nine equals, can't do it, right? Because if we have seven, we can't take nine away because that doesn't make sense. So it won't work. So what we have to do, instead of the ones, we have to jump over to this side and go to the eight. So then we cross that off. And then that would become a 7 and not an 8. And then we cross this off since that was in the 10th place and we took a 10 over here. We cross that off and it would be a 17. So then 17 minus 9 equals, so this is what I do. I do 9 and then I count up to 7 and um, see how many fingers it would take to get to 17. So there's 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, so 8. And so 17 minus 9 equals 8. And then 7. So we just ignore the 8 because imagine the 8 is technically just a 0 because we crossed that off. And now 7 minus 5 equals... Two. And now six minus seven, again. We cannot do six minus seven, and it's never going to be possible. And look, you guys can shout this out loud at home if your parents let you. So if I ask you, like, six minus seven equals, you're going to say, it does not work. Because six minus seven does not work. 6 minus 7 equals, it doesn't work. So here's 9. So we cross out the 9, and then that becomes an 8. And then we cross this 6 off, which becomes a 16. And then 16 minus 7 equals 9. Because I counted up in my brain from 9 to 16. Huh? No, 16 minus 7. 16 minus 7, sorry. So 16 minus 7 equals 9, yeah. And how I got that answer is like 7. And then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 9. 16 minus 7 equals 9. And then 8 minus 8 equals 0. So 
for your question on 87 minus 59 equals 28. And your question on 96 minus 87 equals um, 9. And um, now this, 7 minus 9 can't do it. We did the same exact thing here. And now we're going to do the same exact thing here. Except you're not, you're, that's not going to be a 7 and that is going to be a 17. Because there's a 5 and that's an 8. So that would become 7 and this, be, this would become a 4. So that's a 4. And then this 7 turns into 17. And then 17 minus 9 equals 8. Yeah, 8. And how I did that, I used the same exact strategy. Counting up from 9. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That would be 8. And I did that. And now 4 minus 3 equals 1. So on your question, 57 minus 39 equals 18. Now, let's go into a little bit of hard stuff. And our first question would be, hold on, let me get my cap. Okay, now our first question would be 739 minus 446. So now, here, yes, we're still gonna need to borrow. Nine minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I want only have three left. So nine minus six equals three. And then three minus four can't do it. Because if you have three, you can't take four away. So we go on to the seven, and then that seven becomes a six. And then this 3 becomes a 13. And then 13 minus 4 equals... I'll give you a second. Equals 9. And how? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I took 9 fingers. So 13 minus 4 equals 9. And then 6 minus 4 equals 2. And why? 4, 5, 6, 2. So on your answer, on 739 minus 446 equals 293. Now, let's move on to the bottom. And then... That and then that. Yeah. So here, 637 minus 297. So 7 minus 7 equals 0. These are minus in the same exact number. And then, 3 minus 9, we can't do it. So then that would become a 5. And that would become a 13. And then 13 minus 9 equals 4. Because 9 and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That would be 4. So 13 minus 9 equals 4. And then 5 minus 2 equals 3. And why? Because um, if you have five and you take two away, one, two. So you only have three left. And for your answer, on 637 minus 297 equals 340. Hey, that's actually kind of um, fun because... I get dismissed at 340. And if you like put a um dot between those, it's gonna be 340. And our answer is 340. It's so fun because I get dismissed at 340 from school 
And that answer is also 340. Oh my God, that was the funnest question so far. And then six minus five equals one. Five minus two equals three. Nine minus two equals seven. And here, let me walk you through that as well. If you have five and you wanna, if you have six, if you have six and um, you wanna take away five, a whole hand is five. So you would only have one left. You guys can look at that. Look at that question. Think about it. And then five minus two equals three. And how, if you have five, take two away, you have three. And then nine minus two, nine, and then you take two. One, two. So we have seven left. So that would be a seven. So on your answer, on 956 minus 225 equals 731. And seven minus nine, we can't do it. Oh, jeez. Seven minus nine, we can't do it. So then eight would be crossed out, which would turn into a seven. Seven would be crossed out, which would turn into a 17. And then 17 minus 9 equals 8. And I use the same exact strategy. So like 9 fingers and then count to 17. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Which equals 8. So 17 minus 9 equals 8. And then 7 minus 5 equals 2. Because if I have 7 fingers up. And I want to take away two, this is two. So I take that away, and then I have this five. So then seven minus five equals two. Uh huh? Yeah. Oh, I did a mistake. Seven, and you want to take away five. So this one hand is five, and you take it away, and then you get two. So there's two. Here, let me write it bigger. And then eight minus five equals three. And why? Because you have eight and you want to take away five. One hand is five, so take away that, and then you only have three left. So eight minus five equals three. And so for your answer on 887 minus 559 is 328. Now I'm going to sing this and then that. 57 minus 39 equals 18. 96 minus 87 equals 9. 87 minus 57 equals 28. 956 minus 205, 225 equals 731. 446, I mean 739 minus 446 equals 293 887 minus 559 equals 328 637 minus 927 equals 340 so now if you guys have that all stuck in your brain that is really good and your brain will keep on growing. And you know what happens to your brain when you grow it? I think of it as this. There's like a human in my brain that is a brain. And he's like exercising to make my brain work harder. So I can think harder. And I can be more stronger in my, in my studying. So you guys keep that in mind. And... You guys can take a quick stare at this. And also, please like this video up. Please get this video to 1,000 subscribers. I really hope we can get there. And get this channel to 1,000 subscribers. Because we are on the road to it. And we are driving until we get there. And please comment down below what type of mathematic things you think we should do next we, because we will do that as soon as we can and please share this video with three friends or more and anyway see you in the next vlog and rise up
and stay happy. And rise up and stay happy. Always stay happy. That's the main part.